hi, Jenny here. <laughs> Coming to you from my bathroom. It's a bigger bathroom. I thought I'd have enough room for the camera <laughs> seeing me. But um, if I sit up, yeah, I kind of cut off. Too funny. Unless I get my wide angle lens out and then it would like be too wide. In any case, I'm here in my bathroom because I thought I would make a short video about how to empty my colostomy bag. So whether you have the colostomy or an ileostomy and um, I have a drainable pouch bag. So we'll show that. I know for non-drainable bags, some people that have those also still drain them. They just detach them and empty them out, clean the ring off and put it back on. So there is that option for that also. But I'm going to show you what I have. So hence, the toilet. I did just take a shower and changed my bag. So again, my bag is clear. You will see my stoma through there and it may start pooping. I have no control over when it does that or not. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> In any case, I will show you. Dun, dun, dun. So there's my bag. So far all nice and clean and pretty. One of the ways of draining a bag is just sitting on the toilet. So you can sit fully clothed if you don't feel like you have to go to the bathroom. And then obviously again for me, I'll just undo this. Un undo my bag, undo my Velcro, unroll it. And while you're doing this, if you can, start over. Hi, Rosie. Yes, you're in, you're the star of the video today. <laughs> get your get your sayings in. Um, so you unroll your bag, hold on to the sides of it, depending on the consistency of your output. If you have liquidy output, you don't want it spewing all over the floor. Um, and if it's a thicker output, it should nicely stay in the bag. And this is easier, but um, when you get about this far, you want to hold on to it, get it in the toilet, undo that last one, and then you squeeze open the sides and let the contents pour out. Another thing you should do before all this, I forgot, is take some toilet paper, take a couple squares. <laughs> if again, you're not actually going to the bathroom and wiping and you have toilet paper in there, take some toilet paper and lay that in the toilet and then try to kind of aim for that when you're emptying your bag so you don't have that splashing up at you. It'll help eliminate it somewhat. Anyways, so that's one way. I put some um, deodorizer in here that's liquid. I'm getting that on my hand. <laughs> this is the deodorizer that I use in my ostomy bags. It comes in the big bottle like this. It's Convitex Lubricating Deodorant, Lumicenta. Um, I believe that is the item number. I have to look it up. So it says that it is for use in stoma bags. So you just spray this inside the bag before usage and or even after every emptying. So it comes in this big bottle. So what I like to do is I bought this little bottle at the store and I filled it with that liquid. And that way that one's easier to spray in my bag. And then I also use that to spray in the toilet before I empty my bag, because I feel that also captures the odor and um, helps to eliminate that in the bathroom when you're emptying. That helps, helps make the bag slippery and, and helps the contents come out easier. So I'm going to close that up so I don't drip that all over. Anyway, so that's that's one way of sitting this way. Again, obviously, when you go to the bathroom, you sit down, then you can empty your bag. You can stay closed and empty your bag. Um, another option is to sit forward on the toilet. So sitting this way, which depending on <laughs> yeah, how uh, round the toilet opening is uh, or how elongated, but again, you sit this way, same, undo your bag, empty your bag. I did this way a lot when I went to um, radiation because when I would sit on the toilet normally, granted fully clothed, it was okay. 
but if I was sitting on, if I took my pants down and I sat on the toilet, my body was like, we're going to the bathroom. And for radiation, you can't go to the bathroom beforehand. You have to hold in as much water in your bladder to um, protect your bladder as possible. So I would <laughs> go into the, the clinic before my radiation appointment and go into the bathroom because my bag always wanted, you know, <laughs> would be full enough and I wanted it to be as completely empty as possible for radiation. Uh, I don't know as all it's necessary, but... So we sit forward and same. You're going to undo everything, try to get it as close in the hole as possible to empty your contents that way. Sometimes if you're um, maybe short enough, because again being this tall, you can stand and you can empty your bag in, but again you're going to have that splash factor. So then another option is to kneel and again depending on how you know tall or short you are, you can kneel in front of the toilet and get your bag inside there and again maybe open it up, kind of hold on to it, and then open it, drain it out. Sometimes if the content is a little bit thicker, you'll have to um, take your fingers and run it down and help squeeze everything out. And then at the end you just kind of wipe it all and wipe across here to make everything fall off. And then I take a piece of toilet paper, fold it kind of in half and in half again, fold it over, actually I fold it over even again because I want it thick so it doesn't get on me, um, and then put it over the top of this and wipe it. So that helps take care of what's kind of hanging on the end. And then you open up your bag and again I take one square, I fold it over twice and I fold it over again the short way, put it inside here and then I wipe the whole inside rim out. And I usually have to do that a couple times because it may be a little bit messy in here. So depending on how clean you want it, but I just get this base area clean. I don't worry about any up here or anything. That's all fine. It doesn't matter if there's stuff up there. It won't come squishing out as long as this area up here is clean. And then again, we fold it over and Velcro it up and then put it back into its little pouch. And there you have it. So there are a couple different methods on how to empty your bag or pouch. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below which method you use or if you do something completely different or a little bit different, <laughs> uh, let us know. It's nice to be able to share all this information and help each other out. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching my video. You guys, keep it positive. Go make it a great day. Bye-bye.